Hi everyone, it's Karen Cole from Legal Money Friends. And sorry, I've got a hair thing going on, a hair in my eye. So today I have some exciting news for you. The president of the Family Court Division has made an announcement. Um, you may remember I've done a video um, prior to him being appointed, he did a great a video session. So you can link to that um, above. Uh, just click the a link that comes up. And if not, I'll put a link in the bottom. So um, let's just get straight into it. Sir Andrew McFarlane, president of the Family Division, said that the um, present system in the family courts whereby journalists may attend hearings but may not always report on what they observe is not sustainable and he's reached reached a decision um, and concluded that there needs to be a major shift in the culture and process um, to increase transparency um, so that's really exciting so he's published his review, which I will leave a link to um, below. And um, what the review has focused on is the dual goals of enhancing public confidence in the family justice system, whilst at the same time maintaining anonymity for those families and children who turn to it for the protection that it provides. So he continues to say these twin principles of confidence and confidentiality are not, in his view, mutually exclusive, and it is possible to achieve both goals. In addition to a range of ancillary proposals, his main conclusion is that the time has come for accredited media representatives to be able not only to attend hearings but to report publicly on what they see and hear. Um, so that's very exciting. Gish, I can't believe how excited I am about this. He does continue to say that any reporting must however be subject to a very um, to very clear rules. Um, the uh, autonomy of children and families uh, must be kept uh, confidential, intimate details of, in, especially intimate details of their life. Um, so um, he now in, intends to lead a process of implementing these changes, which will involve um, a number of initiatives. Um, any change in the court process will require the approval of the Family um, Procedural Rules Committee and the Ministry of Justice ministers, insofar as there is a need to amend statute law. Of course, uh, um, it's a matter of Parliament to uh, consider, not the judiciary but the exciting thing is is that he's all on board with more transparency um, if you've ever had to attend court sometimes you're just in like awe of what the other side is asking for so let's continue on to what he's saying so I believe these are exciting times and it's time to get on board because as of the 29th of October 2021 announcement of a consultation proposal to enhance transparency of public confidence in financial remedy proceedings in the financial remedy court so now's the time to get on board so if you're interested I'll just give you a little bit more information of, of uh, what the idea is so he's saying the idea is that a journalist or a legal bloggers have sight of some of the documents in a case that does it doesn't involve children. So no matter what, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. So that's good. Um, but 
for these people to uh, be provided with such documents necessary to understand what the case is about. Um, and with that thought, it is that the journalist or legal blogger could be better armed with basic information um, as knowing, for example, what the case, case is worth. I've got a tongue twister there. So knowing what the case is worth and what the parties are arguing about. Um, and that if they had that information, that would be newsworthy. So if you want to get involved and uh, make your comments known, please see the links below as the consultation um, will end on the 26th of November. So get involved. I think this is really exciting. As you can tell, I'm so excited. I can hardly talk. <laughs> More transparency. I'm all for it. Before ending, let's recap my understanding of this consultation period, as it is looking for comments on the proposed reporting permissions order. The idea is that the press or blogger would apply for an order, liaise with a gatekeeper at the first stage when the financial form A is filed, so that these people can attend the hearings, comment and debate on the process. The idea is that by allowing this process, it would greatly increase confidence in the work that the Financial Family Remedy Court is doing, as the current system already allows these groups to attend a hearing. For example, they can currently name parties, publish photographs of them. However, the new idea is to allow a broad overview of documents submitted to the court to give a better understanding of what the case is about. I have linked an example of what the reporting permissions order would look like. It would have the strict publication of protected financial information when reporting where cases do involve children, including not to disclose their names, schools, or photos, but would allow, for example, access to the questionnaires and answers, answers filed by the parties. Oh dear, would having access to this information Caution a party to rethink ridiculous requests if you knew it could be published in the press. So check it out. Your comments can be sent by email. All the information you need to know is below. And why not watch more of our videos and contact legal-minded friends if you have a legal worry. Thank you.